right, students, so first you're going to gather up your materials, especially if you're joining us from home. You want to make sure that you have a piece of paper. If you have any watercolor paper, this would be a great activity for that. You need a jar of water, you need a paintbrush, and you can use the paintbrush that is in your set, in your watercolor set. So you can use that. I haven't even opened this one yet. Um, and then you can get a set of crayons or you can experiment if you have them at home some oil pastels so if you're in class you'll kind of have a choice between those you will also need some kind of round a big round shape so i'm using a plate so what we're going to be doing and you also need oh sorry a pencil so first thing before you get started is make sure you put your name on it right don't write name write your own name turn that over our name's going to go on the back for now then we're going to put our plate right on here and you're going to choose a color when this week we're going to be talking about value so you can use the same color but different values so a light and a darker version of that color so here I have my purple crayons and if I was to test them you can test them first and you can figure out in which order they need to go so I'm going to start with my darkest one so that was my sparkly one I'm going to start with that and then I'm going to trace a big circle. Now make sure your hand is holding that plate steady so it doesn't move on you. So I'm gonna move this out of the way. Then I just want you to make these little curve bumps. Because we're going to be using some techniques and kind of making a big flower looking dot. Okay, I'm going to use my next value, do the same kind of thing. It doesn't have to be perfect. You make them as many, as many bumps as you want. We're just going to follow those bumps, those curve lines, and go all the way around. If it comes off the paper, that's okay. I'm going to continue with my last one. Notice my different value changes. They're going from dark to light. Okay, now once I have that, maybe you throw in another color and I'm going to stay with cool colors. So my cool colors are green, violet or purple and blue. So I'm going to kind of stay with the same family for mine. All right, maybe I want dots and all, I want dots and all of them. Again, you can make it your own. Okay, so wherever the crayon, or in some cases, the oil pastel is, is going to resist where we put our watercolor. So in the inside part of the circle, you're going to want to make sure and use the wet on wet technique. And all that means is you're gonna get your brush wet and you're going to just paint water on the inside of that circle you do kind of have to use a bigger brush it does help depending on what size your paper is so i'm trying to stay within that boundary and add water now once my water is on there then i'm going to come and liven up the colors that i want to use and i want to stay with the same color family so i'm going to put it in green blue and purple Okay, I added water first by dropping it. I'm gonna give it a little scrub and then I'm gonna drop it right in. See how it kind of spreads? This is the wet on wet technique. It goes in that circle. I could also grab another color and drop it in while it's still wet and just kind of spreads and makes those other dots. My purple wasn't quite. There we go. You can mix it if you want. It doesn't have to be all one color. If it starts to dry, you can always go back and add more color, more wetness, but you're gonna get this tie-dye looking effect. See, and I have my dots, my swirls. Okay, then you're going to let that, let that dry a little bit. 
And then you're also going to paint that outside edge. So while that's kind of drying, you can come around and make Lee's curve line to a point, another curve line back, and then add some of those leaf veins, the texture of the leaf. And you can do more than one in an area. Have some overlapping. You can have more than one leaf. You can have a really big one over here. You just add some other things around the edge of your paper while that's drying. Then to finish off your piece, you're going to add some more of your colors. So I think I'm going to add some blue. Now, if you are using crayon, you're going to have to press pretty hard on your lines. Oil pastel naturally has a lot of pigment. So let's say I was using this instead. This, see how the difference is between the intensity of the color? So wherever I put that color, it's going to act as a barrier for that watercolor. So for example, I can paint right over it and it will not cover my lines. Okay, so that was just an example. All right, so, and the, the crayon will do the same thing. There's just not as intense as the oil pastel. So you can still do this at home if you have crayons. If you have oil pastels, use those. So you're gonna paint the whole thing for our dot day. See how it's kind of pooling in the middle? If you don't like that, if you don't like that it's doing that, you just make sure you have your paper towel ready and you can just kind of soak some of that up. If you run, if you soaked up too much color, you can come back after it's dried a little bit and do another watercolor layer wash. Okay, so the idea is that you paint the entire picture and you um, use those different values, either crayon or oil pastel. And then when you are finished, you're going to take your piece, because it already has your name on the back, right? And you're gonna take your piece over to the drying rack and let it dry and we will um, we will pick them up tomorrow. Okay. All right, let's get started. It is time to create. I am calm. I am respectful. I am encouraging. I am attentive. I am talented and I can enrich the world with my art. Let's get started. <laughs> 